the more you will acquire the knowledge the more you will be happy we need to provide the child the various resources the various tools the various training sessions in different ways so that child can grow and these primitive years are to be emphasized on physical as well as the mental growth experiential learning communication skills collaboration problem solving these are type of skills which needs to develop believe in your children don't put the pressure they will acquire their dreams certainly Hello everybody I'm your host Seema Choria and I welcome you all to another insightful session on great principles education should be free of the outside imposition of discipline it should awaken the dormant intelligence of individuals such intelligence becomes self discipline such a life is simple and natural like flowers when life is progressing through the light of one's own intelligence there is no possibility of chaos please join me in welcoming my very ardent educator of the day mr pavan vashisht he is principal of billa shishu vihar pilani rajasthan he'll be sharing his thoughts and ideologies on how education is liberation of mind please join me in welcoming sir sir a very warm welcome to great principles it's really a privilege to have you with us thank you seema thank you so very much i'm really honored to be the part of the at the forum and being interviewed on this uh, to strengthen the education system in our country so we are equally uh, excited to understand our how education liberates the mind but before we dive into this very interesting topic let us understand a little brief about your journey in education how it all started and you know uh, what is that that keeps you going in here right right Uh, yes sima i hail to dehradun my schooling has been done from dehradun and after completing my post graduation in mathematics i decided to ex- uh, to enter in this uh, education line and uh, in the initial years after the putting two initial years in the public schools there at dehradun name is scholars home i was uh, got an i got an opportunity to work in the, with the rashtriya nenan military college rmc at the age of 23 so fortunately i was uh, would say that at the age of 23 i became the gusted officer and could able uh, to serve the nation in terms of like rmc which is the feed institution for the Go- this nda and which is exclusive school for preparation for the defense personnel in india this is the only college uh, where the cbsc run two uh, years board examination means the semester system has been run in rmc and a uh, little bit more about this thing that uh, a, as i said the nation of cream of the nation gathers there from each state one or two seats are reserved and the complete uh, expenses Uh, i would say complete keeping in view that hardly any maybe 10% or so which is being paid by the parent the government of india take the care of all these things so i was quite fortunate that uh, i started my teaching career for rmc and while working that with rmc closely associated with the doon school and then later i joined the velam boys and served there as a house master so after putting around 16 years in the with the residential schools as named uh, and working with the i would say that the educationist uh, of repute at the national as well as international level then i thought let me find it out my potential as a leader now can may i give it back that whatever i have learned in the past 16 years to society or not uh, so I quit Dehradun and uh, start uh, take the headship. Uh, started with this uh, the Sony Path Hindu Educational Trust as a principal, and in my journey, then uh, I served from north to south. Last uh, before coming here, I was working with the Velamal at South as a senior principal, establishing CBSE schools with that group. From here, Sima, I am. Uh, Pilani, I joined in 2014. From last nine years, I am working with this, 
and uh, beyond the capacity as a principal for this school, I'm uh, shouldering the additional responsibilities as a teacher training center, as a coordinator for the teacher training center for my group. Uh, I tell you that uh, under the Mr. S. K. Birla and in the leadership of Director Major General S. S. Nair, we are running six institution under this trust at Pilani and having the team of say around 450 teachers with us with a number around 7,000 students. So with this little background, I would say that uh, I could able to learn under the guidance of the mentor as well as the leaders, as I mentioned about and working towards that how can we provide the quality education in our schools. Thank you, Sima. You know, sir, hearing your journey, I got more clarity why you chose the topic today, you know, because you have traveled across the country, you have worked with best of the institute and you have, you know, experience of working in the, the defense, training the defense cadets. So, you know, there is a huge difference in what we learn, the education, what is imparted and what actually life wants. So there is difference in this. And I would like to know from you now, sir, it's been like decades you are into this uh, system. So what is, you know, the crux of education, what it means for an individual to be prepared for. I don't think that formal education which is being given to us in school is preparing us for that. What are your views? Uh, no, you You cannot say that the education which has been given at our school is not complete, but certainly there is a room for the improvement and it is happening continuously in the education system. Uh, a school education is especially at the primitive years, I would say that the first 12 years of a child's life are very, very important. But unfortunately, Seema, what the parents mindset is here in India, that in the primitive years, the school education has not been given much importance by the society as well as by the parents too. I'm very happy to see this uh, policy of the new education policy, which has been recently launched, where the a very uh, highly it is being emphasized that what kind of play schools should we have? And in those play schools, what kind of learning should take place? So this is the beginning. This is the new beginning, because now the nation is understanding and realizing that unless and until the foundational years will not be strong and it will not be uh, done rightly, then it will be difficult to meet the challenges of this 21st century. So I would say now that uh, but certainly now the education system is working and we uh, schools also are looking forward to meet those challenges so that we can bring out a good and a strong nation and can help these young generation to live a successful life. That's what I feel so. Completely agree with you, sir. And uh, even I am you know, looking forward for the implementation, effective implementation, I may say, of this wonderful policy, which is bringing in sweeping changes in our education system. And, uh, you know, you also mentioned that you are focusing very much on teacher training also at your institutes. So I think uh, the whole success of the policy lies on this fundamental of how well do we train our teachers to impart what the policy also intend to, right, sir? Yes, yes, I do agree with you. First of all, you see, I'll uh, as uh, we were mentioning about this thing, uh, Seema, I would like to mention there is a this quote of Upanishad. Which, she, which says that sa vidya ya vimuktae means education that liberates the mind. Now, what is the liberation of the mind? We have to understand that. Now, liberation of the mind, what is basically the liberation of the mind says that there shouldn't be any doubt in our mind. Sanshe nahi hona chahiye. Or we can say, as the motto of our GD Birlaj is there to remove the darkness of the society or illiteracy. 
it's a very practical thing that suppose the how comf uh, the way we are comfortable in the daylight we are not in night which is a depiction which is which which signifies us that once when there is dark when there is lack of knowledge when there is lack of ignorance when there is lack of unaware of lack of awareness then certainly the person will be in doubt so that's what our upanishad also says that is what even this nep is saying nep is also advocating as well as has given the steps that at the primitive stage at the beginning itself we should develop such an environment which will help the child to grow further now how it can be help the child we have to structure such activities we have to design some ambience and environment so that the knowledge should evolve you see vivekanand swami vivekanand has said that it has to evolve knowledge is not something which can be feed in the human mind we must understand that and that is what once when this darkness or this ignorance will remove the human will life will be happy i can give you a very small example like i do not know if i do not know the swimming i cannot enjoy the uh, what i cannot feel the enjoyment what the swimmers have if i do not know the horse riding then i unable to enjoy that activity so what does it mean the, the the more you will acquire the knowledge the more you will be happy if this what so with this beginning if we start or to make understand our children then it may help us to grow their interest in learning you see the point lies in interest itself how much interest is you are you mentioned about this thing that nep is demands the teachers training and so on why do we need to that do that the reason is very clear first of all that we need to provide the various tools and the strategies to the teachers objective is very simple that how can they make their classroom interesting so that is the motive and to make their classroom interesting to make their more uh, resources these training sessions in the various domains takes place it is very essential and necessary for each one of us who are in the education line to keep update ourselves if we really want to educate this coming generation we need to update ourselves we cannot be strict with the old methods training this generation our preparing for the 21st century take a small example when a child take birth is born and uh, keeping in view the present scenario where the both pair is a nuclear family parents both are working right so child as at the age of 1 year or so start playing with the mobile and the video games or watching the cartoon now you you see this pattern a child who is playing with the mobile cartoon means and is taking admin, admission and being admitted in a school at the age of 3 years in a place class nursery say now in nursery when the child comes we do we have the concept of the mother teacher so the child is being given to the mother teacher and then she is trying now a child who was has spent at least one year on a screens where the characters were moving within 30 seconds so he has got he has got develop he grown in watching such things now here the point lies that now a teacher because the concentration span of a child is not more than a minute now i am i don't want to get into why this happened because we don't have control on that and that is the demand of the time also but certainly we need to prepare ourselves so we do have to understand 
that if we need, if we want to child learn, if we want to sustain their interest, then we have to modify our strategies. We need to provide him, uh, we need to provide the child the various resources, the various tools, the various training sessions in different ways so that child can grow. And these primitive years are to be emphasized on physical as well as the mental growth. You know, the, we all know very well that till the age of 12 years, the 85% of the brain of the child develops. How will it develop if you will not questioning it? How will it develop if you will not create such situation where the child needs to think? And that is what the 21st century skills are being also listed out. How can we expect a child once when he acquire the age of 19 or 18 years that he does not have interest in culture? He does not has, uh, has interest in various cuisines. He only liked the regional cuisine. Why? Because he was not exposed to that. He was not given that those uh, exposures where he could experiment, he could test and then can analyze. So that is what this NEP is being drafted as well as the circulated now, which is clearly saying this thing that experiential learning, communication skills, collaboration, problem solving, these are type of skills which needs to develop and these skills can only be developed by doing the things, by experiencing the thing. This is not the something which is written in the book and the child is cramming it or understanding from the book. He or she cannot unless and until he will not be experienced to that. So that is why this is why the change has to take place. And I'm happy that the now gradually the community as well as the society is changing. I sincerely hope then coming years, our school system also will meet those challenges and will come up on the expectation at national as well as the global level. Absolutely, sir. You know, because if we don't awaken now, we have lost it. You know, it is said that by 2030, we need to work on the youth, which is, you know, right now sitting in the classrooms. If we lose this opportunity, we will lose the most you know, the generation of highest number of youth in any country. And, you know, where you very rightly said there also that, uh, which, which I'm just summing up, that education is not just accumulation of information, it is application. It is broadening your horizon to apply the knowledge that you have accumulated. So I think Sir has very rightly brought up some very, you know, thoughtful points here that needs to be done. He has related in the context of NEP, how important this change is and how we need to work especially in schooling segment where sir uh, emphasized on the development of cognitive skills more that your brain is developed and the skills are the skills which takes the life which helps you making all kind of decisions friends you all my dear viewers do ensure that your child gets the right kind of schooling from the very beginning and create a similar environment at home also we have we have now reached to a rapid fire round sir uh, in this round, you need to answer me in one word or a single sentence. My very first question, education should made us inclusive or exclusive? Inclusive. Absolutely. Moving ahead to my next question. Do you believe one, one board would be a benchmark step for our country? No. Do you think that emphasizing on English language would still be essential in our country for global citizens? Not at primitive years. If you wouldn't have been an educator, what you would have been? Uh, musician. Musician, all right. What is you do in your recreational time? Uh, reading spiritual scripts and listening the music, reciting the bhajans and all. All right. So, sir has a you know specific different kind of music, and especially on the spiritual sides, I uh, suppose here. So, moving ahead to my next question to you. 
who is the person who inspires you in your life or you whom you look up to inspiration whenever you need swami vivekananda all right if you were given an opportunity to make one important change in our education system what would be that first change that you would make to make it possible to the weaker section of the society the good education the good public school education to make available to the weaker sections of the society too do you think hybrid education is here to stay it's not the question of staying or un staying anything is the thing is that as much as we will equipped we will be growing strongly wonderfully answered this one now my last question to you in this segment one piece of advice for our millennial parents believe in your children don't put the pressure they will acquire their dreams certainly so this was uh, mr pavan vashisht on our show today and it was really uh, interesting conversation throughout there are so many things that we understood that future holds something very great for our schooling and uh, we hope that if with leaders like sir if things are implemented in the right manner a vast change would come up and we would see our generation much more equipped than it is today so pavan sir thank you so much sir uh, it was really an honor to have you so sir uh, here i would like you to give a closing note for our audience i want to say that uh... we must we seriously must engage to develop our students our children with moral based education this world is the materialistic we need to tell them that morals are always high and above than the material things this message i would like to give to my parents my colleagues and everyone of this country much needed one today morning only i was uh, reading one piece of article which said that uh, till the time person is not educated especially with the kind of education that we are imparting right now he is open for ideas but the moment the child is educated the person is educated he is very much confused and then he wants the entire planet to serve him so we need to understand that what where is the morality is missing somewhere and sir you very rightly emphasized on this word so to all my dear viewers this was mr pavan on our show and i hope to see many more such educators joining us very very soon we will bring to you many more interesting conversations soon thank you so much sir it was really privilege to to have you sir thank you seema thank you so very much I'm honored.